Well, this arrest adds to the nearly 3,000 IMPD has made for violent crimes this year alone. CBS 4's Russ McQuaid has more on crime in the city and why some officials see hope in these numbers. Even though Indianapolis was awash with carjackings and homicides the last five days, as of Tuesday afternoon, non-fatal shooting incidents were down nearly 13 percent compared to a year ago, and homicides were off nearly 17 percent in the city. All the crime trends have been going down since April of last year. One explanation might be the change in IMPD strategy to go after the most violent offenders, trigger pullers, and armed robbers, which sometimes leads to tragic outcomes. Like when a man wanted on meth and gun charges drove the wrong way on I-465 last month to escape police and caused a crash that killed himself and two other people. The people that our officers are focused and detectives are focused on are, are, are violent, dangerous people. And there's always the potential that, that, that bad things happen. Um, as we go after him. But I think that's what our community expects us to do. Since April of last year, IMPD specialty units focusing on gun crimes, robberies, and violent offenders have racked up nearly 3,000 arrests of people who investigators believe are behind much of the city's worst violence, while hopefully taking suspects and potential victims off the streets before more mayhem is done and thus leading to the lower violent crime rate. This is Dixon Memorial Chapel, where this summer James Dixon was allegedly murdered by two suspects that were being tracked by covert robbery detectives. Folks I've talked to at the chapel today who don't want to go on camera say Indianapolis's crime statistics may be down, but they don't necessarily feel any safer in the city. They're trending in the right direction, and we have to remind ourselves that this stuff didn't occur overnight. As these numbers show, Indianapolis's homicide totals jumped up significantly since 2019, and as of Tuesday, they were below 2020's then record-setting pace. I think that there are more guns on the street and more people that are willing to use guns uh, in whatever circumstances that they're in. So I think the world is different now than it was in 2016 and 17. And so even comparing what people are willing to do now to that is, is different. Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News. Metro police say overall arrests are down 5% as detectives concentrate on apprehending the most violent offenders.